The beats and sounds of distant lands brought people to their feet at Milton's Community Sports Park this weekend. The two-day Afro Jazz Festival kicked off Saturday. Milton resident Roshina Are stopped by to soak up some soca and vibes from her other home. I'm from Cameroon, Africa, so I've been in Milton for a long now, and I'm so happy because there's a lot of fun, there's a lot of music. She says events like Afro Jazz are important because they show any Canadian who thinks they've lost their community, that community is right here. It's very important because sometimes we feel like African people that are behind. So this festival is showing that we have world here in this country and the country is welcome for everybody. Dance floor grooves weren't the only thing heating up Saturday night. The chefs were serving up taste to match. Merchants brought plenty of colors to the otherwise green space. Some were helping customers find the perfect gift, while others seemed to have the perfect gift, but just needed the right customer. Body butter, formulated for men. Most people use the white uh, body butter, but this one is... Yep, for men. Children had the run of the place, as well as the bounce and slide. But TD's giant Jenga game made sure not everyone came out on top. It might have been the gale-like gusts of wind that toppled your tower. Maybe check if he's okay. One safe space for children was Manifest Bookstore. Owner Crystal Dixon says that the books children see in her shop mirror their own diversity. The biggest thing is that they see themselves in the books or they see their friends in the book. I, what I love is kids don't know skin tone or color. That's the thing I love the most. Whether they're to dance, to listen, to read, or just enjoy sweet treats, there was a lot to love at the Afro Jazz Festival this weekend. But it was a celebration of many nations together here in Canada that brought so many people to Milton's Sports Park. And Milton Mayor Gordon Krantz says that events like the Afro Jazz Festival are what draws people to the area in the first place. Milton is a very diverse and a very welcoming community too for diversity. And we're all in this together, for what race or what religion. We're all here to enjoy that international language of music and dance. Reporting for your TV Halton, I'm Dee Glazebrook.